Hi, and welcome to day 28 of our yoga lockdown challenge. Today we're going to be doing a side chair twist balance. So we're still working on the side of our body, but we're also adding the element of balancing into it. To begin with, we're first going to start with our breathing again. So you can elevate your hips and then we're going to do the four, seven, eight breath. Gently close your eyes. Place one hand on your chest, one on your belly, and then here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let it go deep inhalation through your nostrils. And a slow exhale through your mouth. Stay here for a couple moments as you feel the ripples of your prana, your breath in your body. Release your hands, gently open your eyes. So we're gonna be starting in a standing position today. I just want to say, just because we're working on the balancing things and if you have some issues around your knee joints, just take care of it. Or you can also skip the balancing portion of the video. So let's get on the mat. So today we're gonna to be starting with five rounds of a variation of our sun salutation. So come towards the front edge of your mat. As you inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, bend your knees. Slowly fall in towards your forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back variation. Relax your shoulders, lengthen through your spine. Engage your core, inhale. Exhale, flow down, bend your knees. Roll yourself all the way up. Inhale, reach your hands up and exhale hands in front of your heart space here we go inhale rise exhale bend your knees full forward inhale look up flat back exhale soften bend your knees roll yourself up to tadasana standing inhale reach your hands up exhale hands in front of your heart space inhale rise exhale bend your knees full forward inhale look up flat back Exhale, soften. Bend your knees. Roll yourself up. Inhale, hands follow. Exhale, hands in front of your heart space. Two more times. Here we go. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend your knees. Full forward. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, release. Bend your knees. Roll yourself up. Hands follow. Exhale, hands in front of your heart space. Last round. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend your knees. Roll forward. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, soften. Bend your knees, roll yourself all the way up. Reach your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hands in front of your heart space. Close your eyes. Take a moment to simply observe. You'll feel your body warming up from the inside out. Notice the sensations in your muscles. And gently open your eyes. So we're coming first in towards our beautiful chair pose. Again, your feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, reaching your hands up. Exhale, bending your knees. You can see your toes tucking your tailbone under openness in the chest. Holding it here for a moment. Inhale 
And as you exhale, press your hands in front of your heart space. Now remember in our chair pose, it really doesn't matter how deeply you go. It's important that you have the right alignment that feels good for you. So you wanna have your feet stable and you can notice that your weight is in the ball of the foot and your heel of the foot. The best way you can check is by lifting your toes. We've done chair pose before in a previous challenge, but we're gonna step it up today with a balancing twist. So from here, you're hinging at the hips and it's all about transfer of weight when we do balancing. Just take a moment, just hang out here. You're feeling pretty stable, keep engaging that core. And then from here, we're gonna bring our left elbow towards our right knee. Remember whenever we do a side chair that your left knee will wanna shoot out because you have to engage your core and pull that side of your hip back. Keep lengthening through the spine as you look towards the side. Inhale and exhale. So the unravel, inhale, rise up, reach your hands up towards the sky. Imagine they being pulled upwards. Transfer your weight all the way towards your tippy toes. Lift, inhale. And as you exhale, lower your heels slowly and controlled all the way down. Other side, release your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees. Tuck your tailbone under. You can see your toes, openness in the chest. From here, place your hands in front of your heart space hinging at the hips. Other side, right elbow comes towards left knee and you'll see your right knee will wanna shoot out, but you're gonna pull it back so that your knees are in one line. Keep that openness in the chest as you slowly look towards the side. And here, it's gonna hang out for a moment, just breathe. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly unravel. Reach your hands overhead. Transfer your weight towards your toes. Lift, balance. Focus on a point in front of you. Inhale. And as you exhale, lower your heels down. Bend your knees forward, fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, float down as you step your right foot back and then your left coming into strong plank, holding it here for a moment, lengthening through the spine. Remember, you can always lower your knees in plank pose. Inhale and exhale. One last breath, stay with me, inhaling. And as you exhale, bend both of your knees, big toes together, knees are as wide as the mat, as you slowly sink down in towards your child's pose. Flowing your forehead towards the ground, softening your shoulders, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, ripple yourself up as we're coming in to thread the needle. Realign your knees. Wrist elbow, shoulders are on one line and curl your toes under. Inhale, reach your right hand up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring your right hand to underneath your left armpit. And then you're gonna lower yourself down, laying on towards your right ear and shoulder. Today, we're gonna go in towards the bind or place it on towards your lower back. So left hand is on your lower back. Or if you have the space, see if you can grab the inside of your right thigh. Then here, breathing towards your twisting, inhale and exhale. One last breath, inhaling. And as you exhale, slowly unravel, place your right hand in line with your face, inhale. And as you exhale, lift yourself up, right hand all the way up towards the sky and exhale, bring back down. Coming towards the other side, inhale, lifting your left arm up, lengthen. And as you exhale, bring it underneath your right armpit, laying down on towards your left ear and shoulder. Right hand first comes out for a moment and then we're doing the bind, so you're either placing on towards your lower back or you're grabbing the inside of your inner thigh. Again, inhaling and gently exhaling. One last breath, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly unravel, lifting yourself all the way up. Reach your left hand one last time up towards the sky and exhale, press it back down. And from here, we're gonna start extending your hands out. Inhale, exhale, lifting your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhaling, as you exhale, bend both of your knees, look forward, inhale. And as you exhale, take two big steps towards your forward fold. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, release your hands. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. Inhale, reaching your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, press your hands in front of your heart center. 
So first of all, make sure that your feet are hip width distance apart. I was standing a little bit wider. Again, we want to make sure that the foundation is solid. As you inhale, reaching your hands up, exhale, bending your knees, coming in towards a chair-like pose. Tuck your tailbone under, press your hands in front of your heart center. And then from here, slowly and controlled, hinging at the hips. Remember, now we're going to add the balancing element. Right elbow comes towards left knee and then pull your right knee back. Lengthen through your spine and then slowly look towards the side. Inhale and as you exhale, now you're going to bring your gaze down towards your foot and slowly transfer all of your weight towards your left foot so you can lift your right heel up. I think you know where we're going with this. Slowly see if you can release your right foot. Bring your heel towards your buttocks, hold it here, then slowly extend your leg out. Bring it towards the edge of your mat, lower it down, keep lengthening through the spine. You've landed in a twist. Inhale. And as you exhale, keep that connection with your core as you slowly and controlled lower your back knee. And then from here, release your right hand and lift your left hand up towards the sky. Imagine that you're being pulled upwards, inhaling. And as you exhale, slowly unravel. Inhale, reach both of your hands up. And as you exhale, coming in towards our lizard pose, both of your hands on the inside of your left foot, heel toe, your foot as wide as the mat. Remember your ankles always in front of your knee. You can pick up your back knees, slide it towards the back. And then from here, lengthen through your spine, inhale and exhale. One last breath, inhaling and exhale. So we're coming out of a pick up your back knee. Then from here, you're gonna bring your gaze forward, inhale, and as you exhale, step your back foot towards the front. So we have arrived in our yogi squat, and then slowly lower your buttocks, and then bring your hands in front of your chest. Now, if this is not attainable for you, you can also always use a block to sit on. I'll be staying here for a moment, inhale, and as you exhale, one last breath, inhaling, and as you exhale, engage your core, and then slowly, with the strength of your legs, you're gonna lift yourself all the way up to standing, heel toe your feet together, and then shake it off. All right, going towards the other side. Coming towards the front edge of your mat, inhale, reaching your hands up, exhale, slowly bending your knees. Openness in the chest, inhale. And as you exhale, pressing your hands in front of your heart center. Hinging at the hips, coming in towards that side chair. Left shoulder comes towards the right knee. Pull your left knee back, lengthening through the spine. Inhale and exhale, staying here for a moment. And then here we go. Bring your gaze down towards your right foot. Bring all of your weight towards the right foot so you can lift your left heel. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring your heel towards your buttocks. I always feel like a bird here, like a flamingo. And then from here, slowly shoot your left leg out towards the edge of the mat, and then you land in towards the twist. Keep lengthening through your spine. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly extending your hands out. Keep that openness here, that extension. Inhaling, and as you exhale, lower your back knee down. From here, coming back to center, lizard pose, hands on the inside of your right foot, heel to your right foot as wide as the mat, lengthening through the spine, inhale and exhale. One last breath, inhaling and exhale. From here, we're coming out of it in our cool, funky yogi squat way. So we're gonna pick up our back foot, concentrate towards the front, inhale, and as you exhale, Use the momentum and step your back foot towards the front. Feet are out 45 degree angle and then your hands come in towards your chest. Feet are wide 45 degree angle and then slowly lower your buttocks. Openness in the chest. Inhale and exhale. Here we go. Use the strength of your core and your thigh muscles and slowly and controlled lift yourself all the way up. Heel toe your feet together and then shake it off. Gonna end today in a tree pose, adding on a little bit with our balancing here. Feet are hip width distance apart. Place your hands in front of your chest, lengthening through the spine, inhale. And as you exhale, transfer your weight towards your left foot as you slowly lift up the right. Imagine that you're opening a door towards the right side and then plumping your leg down. Inhale and exhale. 
Remember in tree we have different variations. You can put it on your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. I leave that choice up to you. I'm gonna add a little bit of balancing here as well. Extending your hands out towards the side so you're making yourself really big. Inhale, and as you exhale, slip your weight towards the left ball of your foot. And if you can, see if you can slowly lift your heel off the ground, keep that gauging through the core, inhale and exhale, lower it down, release your foot and shake it off. All right, other side, feet are hip width distance apart. Slowly transfer your weight towards your right foot, place your hands in front of your chest, engaging your core, swing it towards the left side and then plopping your foot down, ankle, calf, inner thigh, choice is yours. And then keeping that openness in the chest. Again, we're adding that balancing element, extending your hands out, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly transfer your weight towards your right ball of the foot. Maybe this is where you stay or if you have the space, lift yourself away from the ground. Challenge your balance here, inhale. And as you exhale, lower your heel down, release your foot, shake it off. And slowly, you can always hold on towards a wall or a chair here. Bring your right heel towards your buttocks for a moment. Stretching our legs that have worked really hard today. Inhale and exhale, release, coming towards the other side. Hold on towards your left foot. Keep lengthening through the spine, lightly engaging your core. We're really increasing the blood circulation towards our thigh muscles here. Inhale and exhale, release. And today we're going to finish in a seating position. So gently come on towards your mat in a cross-legged pose. So we're going to finish today with a couple of side stretches. So as you inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your right hand down, bend your elbow, and then slowly look down towards the ground. Then from here, opening up through the chest and look up towards the ceiling and then extend your right elbow. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift yourself up, other side. Exhale, bring your left hand down, bend your elbow, look first down towards the ground. And then from here, opening up through the chest, look up towards the ceiling, inhale. And exhale, slowly straighten your right elbow, inhaling. And exhale, come all the way up to center. Take a couple shoulder rolls, first one way, and then the other. And then from here, we're gonna finish with our breathing, and you can always elevate your hips. And then here we go. Place one hand on your chest, one on your belly. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three and exhale one two three four and let it go deep inhalation through your nostrils and a slow exhale through your mouth gently return to your normal rhythm of your breath as you stay here for a couple moments connecting to your body serving your mind, feeling your spirit. And gently open your eyes, place your hands in front of your chest. Take a moment to feel this connection that you've cultivated with yourself. Take this with you off your mat. And I thank all of you for sharing your energy, your focus and your breath. And I'll see you guys on the next challenge. Namaste. Namaste.